Welcome to Food Facts TV, I'm Cassie Berry. Let's talk about a group of controversial ingredients, artificial colors. A warning flag should go up anytime we're adding anything artificial to our food and artificial colors are no exception. Manufacturers try to trick us by adding artificial colors to our food to make them seem more healthy and more natural. But actually, they're just making them more unnatural and more unhealthy. I'm going to put this down. So why do we need to be careful of artificial colors? Let's start off with the FDA. Have you ever seen a label that says artificial colors? It's pretty vague, right? Well, the FDA says that's fine as long as you include some sort of concoction of all the artificial colors they approve of and deem generally safe. But we don't really know the specific chemicals they're using, so it's a little bit of a mystery. And what happens if some of these chemicals interact? We don't know what these synthetic chemicals can do, and studies aren't really sure either. So we're wary of it. Also, if you don't see artificial colors listed, you might actually see the real dye listed. They're called blue one, blue two, green three, red three, red 40, yellow five, and yellow six. Those are all the ones we approve of in the United States, but a lot of people are considering them controversial, and the United Kingdom is banning them by the end of 2011 because of their link to hyperactivity in children and attention disorders like ADD and ADHD. And guess what? Some American companies, they actually make products for the UK by using natural colors, but they use the artificial colors here in America because it's cheaper. I don't think that's fair. If you want to know which products have artificial colors and some of the effects, visit foodfacts.com and put controversial colors on your avoid list. 